Can you believe it? S over 70 different types of plants. So if you're looking for amazing plants, well, check us out. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Aquatics. As you all know, uh, we were gonna do this video on Friday, but it came late and all that. So, well, I guess it is Friday. I was talking about last Friday. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys different types of plants. That way, if you're interested in getting into the freshwater plant kind of ecosystem, you have different things to choose for and you know what these plants look like. So, without further ado, let's check them out so this right here um we have uh potty potted money work we also have ambula uh dwarf sagittarius which is right there um we have crypt oh pondola pondola yeah I, that one right there we also have green hedge which is all that bushy plant right there absolutely amazing plants now moving down um this is actually Ritala nana or non non jensen jensen man i cannot talk today um it looks like i got a light out or it's moved or something because it's really dark in that tank um we also have jungle val um we have nana uh, Anubius Nana right there. That's uh, what those broadleaf plants are. Moving down, this is actually a new plant for us. I've never had it before, but uh, this is uh, Nessia Golden is what all that beautiful plant is right there. Um, we also have, so you see that little green kind of twig looking plant? That's a Charis Lloyd. Um, and then uh, there's a red wind it's high in that pot right there but it's kind of hiding moving up and over we have more ambula right here and uh there's jungle val in here as well as uh water lettuce on the top moving down uh java fern we have uh amazon swords and there's some crypts uh some of the red crypts uh the wind tie as well moving down again um now it's crazy because we actually have dwarf lily right there uh i didn't order it it just showed up one day i don't know how or what uh we also have the chain broadleaf uh sword and the red reuben back there as well as well as jungle vow if i'm going too fast please let me know because uh we have a lot of tanks and a lot of plants so i just wanted to not make this a 30 minute video <laughs> We have large Amazon swords. Um, we also have Mario filigree. That's what this one is right here in the middle, um, as well as Anubia's Coffeola. Um, and then it looks like there's some uh, Jungle Val in there as well, which man, Jungle Val just gets in everything. Uh, down here, uh, we have the Red Reuben swords. We have the Anubia's Nana. Um, we also have the Giant Val. The Giant Val has actually got a broader, um, vine coming up of it versus the normal jungle valve which has just got thinner um we also have like i said uh the red ruben the nubius uh nana right there uh if you're looking for oh and we also have the narrow uh leaf temple as well if you're looking for a slower growing plant then i would go with the nubius nana uh, we have another new one, uh, which is the Bacopa Australis, uh, right there. Um, we also have the Dwarf Hairgrass, um, the Red Melon, uh, sword, which is these right here. Going up and over, we have the Narrow Temple. Uh, this is a very full, uh, and thriving plant. Um, we also have potted uh, wisteria uh, back there behind the albino paradise fish. Down here is probably actually some of my favorite plants. Um, so we have the Rotala Wallachi. Um, we have the Crypt Bronze. Um, we have the Amazon Swords back there, the green ones. So, and then we also have some Ozlet Swords as well. Moving down here, we have more of the uh, Amazon Swords, Anubius Barteri is what that one is. 
And then we also have the Loidella. Loidella. It's that one right there. Next up is we have a bunch of Red Mario. Now, if you add uh, iron in these things, uh, the, the Mario will show more of the red. But because, and you can kind of see it down here a little bit, but, and I know it's kind of hard to see the reds going through the lens, um, but add iron, it'll come through. There's also, this tank is really, really full. Um, we also have Java Fern in here. We have Anubius, um, Barteri, and then uh, Anubius uh, Frizzuri, which is back there. Coming down here, is the uh we have the crypt ludia we also have the ozlot sword and then we have the green mario coming down here we have a bunch of uh, little stuff rutala indica this actually comes from our big co2 tank up front um because we cut it back so much um there was money work in here i don't see it anymore um we also have the oriel oriental swords and the amazon swords as well over here is a very very full tank uh plants um we have the red flame swords uh we have the radicon swords which are not down there um we also have the kambaba green which is all this full stuff and then there's also a nubius nana but it i think it's back there coming down here we have uh, the red flame sword right here. We have the Amazon sword in the back. We also have um, the Mexican oak leaf is what this is. I actually like the, uh, the oak leaf just because it's like, it's not as crowded plants. They're, they're actually spaced out more or the leaves, not the plant, Jesus. All right, down here we have red tiger lotus. Uh, if you want a top dwelling plant, then this is it. It starts off down at the bottom, but it'll eventually grow up like that one back there is. Um, we also have the Radicon Marble, um, which is this right here. And then we have the Micro Sword Narrow, which is that plant right there. Coming over here, we have Anubius Frizzuri. We have Anubius Barteri. We have Marble Queen, um, Amazon Sword, Narrow Leaf. And you can just, oh man, our tanks are just so full. Down here we have more Ambula. Um, there's no, it says there's Rotala, but there's no Rotala in here. Um, we have the red uh, Wendatai uh, Crypt. Down here we have Creeping Charlie is what this is right here. You notice how it's a lot more close together. Um, we also have Banana Plants. Down here, we have uh, the green Windatai. We have uh, the Anubius Barteri again. Over here, we have some Java Fern right there. Uh, we have Anubius Hasta, Hastafolia uh, right there. And we also have a bunch of Diandra, which is what that is right there. Coming down here, we have more Jungle Val. We have the Crypt. Uh, Unilata. We also have the. Oh, they're all sold. Uh, I was going to say the bronze, but we also have the. Nope, those are sold too. Two, never mind. All right, down here we have the green Windatai back there. We have uh, the Lila. Lila Piss. Yeah. And then we have the Aponte. Man, I cannot talk today. Yeah, that one right there is that in there. Moving on to a bunch of pest nails. So we're going to have to move some assassins over here. Uh, we have the Crypt Parva right there. We also have the Luiga Nero, which is back here. Over here, we have the Anubius uh, Frizzuri. And that's it. Oh, no, we do have a Crypt right there down here and i need to reconfigure this tank because that all uprooted itself we have the java fern lace um we have the water sprite which is that right there and then there's a couple of bronze window ties 
Over here we have the melon swords. Down here we have the crypt uh, Yundalata, and then we also have the Radicon swords. Over here, this is just a bunch of jungle vow. Over here, we get into the more difficult plants. Um, we have a couple of different types of moss. We also have the Apon Apontagentin Madagascar lace. That's what that is right there. Um, we also have the Parva, the Crips, and the Ludia in here as well. And moving on, um, we have the Hygrophilia Compact, which is that right there. The Red Flame Swords. We also have the uh, Anubius Frizuri. Um, we have the you'll nope, those aren't in there anymore. Never mind. Down here, Anubius Nana Petite, another slow growing plant. We have the Luiga Broad Immersed. Um, we also have the Java Fern in there. Um, over here, we have uh, the Mayaka. We have a little bit of Christmas moss. Um, we have the Crips and the Microsorum Peterpos. Yeah. Down here we have the Bronze uh, Windetize, the Dwarf Sagittarius, which I don't see. Yeah, I think this one's actually missing a tag because there's some water sprite in here too. Down here we have more Crips, Green Windetize. Um, the Anubis Hap Hestifolia. We also have the uh, Keratamine back there as well. Uh, and you're like, James, that's not 70 plants. Well, guess what? We're still rolling. Also, thank you to all the new subscribers. You guys are amazing. If you haven't done so already, please consider doing so. Uh, subscribe, like our channel, share with your friends and family, and help us continue to grow our channel. Now, down here we have uh, Java Moss. It's hard to see because it's in a low tank with our vampire crabs. Up here, this is actually some really cool plants. Um, we have the Ocelot Swords, we have the Amazon Swords, and we have the... Uh, uh, oh my god. The hydro, sort of like Japan map. That's what this stuff is. So if you want a fast growing, cause this stuff's been in here for like a week and it's already growing up. So if you want a fast growing plant, that's it. And these tanks don't have CO2. Down here isn't a whole lot, uh, red flame sword and Amazon swords. Um, over here we have the Java ferns in the back there. We have uh, Rotala Indica, Rotala, uh, or not. We have the melon swords, the micro swords, uh, water sprite, which is back there. Down here, now these are actually mother uh, Amazon swords. A lot of people don't know, so these runners right here are how they branch off. But what people don't know is, and I don't know why that lit's on crooked, there we go. If these are allowed to come out of water, these will actually flower. I did not know that before, but it's actually really cool. Up here is the thrashed moneywort and wisteria. Um, we did have some turtles in here, but it's really cool seeing it grow out of the water. Down here, these plants don't look the hottest. Um, and that's just because of how much waste these kiddos put off. Um, but we have the hornworts. And we haven't had a hornwort in a while. We also have some Amazon swords and some red flame swords as well. Over here, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I bet that was loud. We have more Amazon swords, we have red melons, and we have the Reuben swords as well. Down here on our last 40 is Green Hedge and the Radicon, man, there's another one. Uh, the Radicon sword plant, which is that big one in the back. Now, the last thing I have to show you, and like I said, I'm trying not to make this a 20 minute video, so I'm talking as quickly as I can, and I hope the light isn't messing with this tank, is our CO2 tank. Um, we have Dwarf Baby Tears, we have uh, Plotted Glastifolia, 
we have uh, Baby Tears, Monte Carlo, Ritala Indica. Yeah. So, 70 different plants in oh, like 15 minutes. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of the different types of plants there are out there. Um, on average, we get about 1,500 plants in order. So, if you're looking for and want us to ship you some, please let us know. Um, you can send us an email and uh, we'll get that taken care of for you. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.